Brian here from The Rare Occasions. About a year ago, we were lucky enough to be a part of a compilation album of Green Day covers made by local bands in the scene here and beyond. It was to honor the 25th anniversary of Green Day's album Insomniac. Our contribution was a cover of the song Armitage Shanks. We wanted to put our own stamp on the song while also paying homage to what makes the original so powerful. You don't need to say, Hey, that's not how they did it on the record. Because I know, I understand. That's not what we were trying to do. Uh, but I, I think the main point of this video is to show you how we layer guitar sounds to try and get that thick wall of guitars that Green Day has on most of their records. Even though this song is on Insomniac, I personally consider American Idiot to be the most iconic Green Day sound, production-wise. We tried to sort of replicate that sound, not necessarily the insomniac sound. So let's dive in, shall we? I bounced a bunch of stems from the original project. It was 78 tracks, and I've bounced it down to just 10. So hopefully it's simpler, you can follow along a lot easier. Starting with the drums. So we recorded this right here in my house. Pretty standard close mic setup with some overheads and room mics, stereo pairs. I tried to replicate the girthy tray cool sound by using a lot of parallel compression and uh, you know threw some reverbs on saturation and we also have triggers on the snare sound so every time Luke hits the snare you're hearing a mix of the actual recorded snare and a sample all right so let's add in the bass Jeremy did an awesome job on this Mike Dirt is known for that like really nasally bass tone and I'm personally not a huge fan of that sound so we didn't really go for that in this recording. This is three bass tracks kind of combined. We had a clean DI, a dirty DI, and we mic'd the bass cab as well. So Jeremy was playing through a Big Muff bass pedal. And the reason we have the clean DI in there is because you kind of you can lose the low end with the distorted signals, so you kind of combine them and you have the really like clean defined low end. You don't lose that oomph at the bottom. So I think the vocal sound that I went with is more the rare occasions vocal sound, but it actually is kind of close to what Green Day does. I tripled the vocal and I have like a slap back going, uh, which is a really short delay with no uh, regeneration and um, some distortion. <laughs> Billy Man Joe is, his voice is so in your face. And it's not the way I, myself. it's not the way I really sing, um, but I tried to replicate it. So it was definitely a challenge for me just like, being really up on the mic and aggressive. Stranded, lost inside myself. My own worst friend and my own closest enemy. We also had backing vocals. So this is Luke and Jeremy singing and they kind of harmonize. Loner in a catastrophic mind. So now it's time for the sort of main point of this video, and that's the guitars. Individually, they don't sound that great, actually. And then when you combine them, um, that's where you get the, the kind of full rhythm guitar sound. I started with just a basic distortion sound. Um, I was playing bar chords. And what you hear are two guitar tracks panned hard left and hard right. Uh, one of them is going through an overdrive pedal through my amp, and the other was using the 
built-in distortion sound of my amp. So this next sound is fuzz sound. The reason why you want to have two like completely different tones is because it makes it sound wider if there's more difference between the left and right side. So for example in this fuzz track I used a big muff on the left side and this homemade distortion fuzz pedal that I made on the right side. As you can hear the fuzz is covering more of the high end versus the first track the distortion which covers the mid-range, I would say. So I added a third track that I call Sludge. And that's really covering the low end, the bottom of it. And it's playing something different. It's power chords. You can hear there's some inverted power chords and it's a cool trick. Your, your ear kind of like inserts the root below if you play the fifth at the bottom. I used like um, a plug-in on my DAW. And I generally try and steer clear of them because they sound kind of fake, but you mix it in with real guitars, it starts to sound really full. Okay, so the last thing I added was a little acoustic guitar. Put it back in. So it's really subtle, but it's kind of part of their American Idiot sound. So I'll solo and mute these and you can kind of hear what they each do. Combining that rhythm section, the wall of guitars, sounds like Green Day. No, it sounds like the rare occasions playing Green Day. So check out the track, um, check out the whole compilation. There's some really talented bands uh, that we got to work with and it was really fun. Link to the track is below and have a very good day. Okay, bye.